An American journalist who has been imprisoned in Russia for more than a year is finally set to go on trial. But tomorrow's hearing is happening behind closed doors. Evan Gerskovich, who works for The Wall Street Journal, was arrested in March 2023 on espionage charges. He, along with his newspaper, deny the allegations, and the U.S. says he is being wrongfully detained. Assistant editor of The Wall Street Journal, Paul Beckett, is with us now to talk more about the case. Uh, welcome back to you, sir. Thank you for your time. Uh, closed door, what does this mean to you, and how likely is it that Evan gets a fair trial? Thank you. I would hesitate to call it a trial at all, uh, to be honest. It's, to me, more like a hearing, which a judge in secret will endorse the accusations, false accusations, that the Russian security services have made against Evan. So just going in, we expect a bogus charge to lead to a bogus result, and he will almost certainly be convicted. What does Evan have working for him? Who is on his side, and what response or support are we getting from the U.S. government? Uh, Doug Jones, the parent company of the Journal, has had uh, lawyers uh, both in the United States and Russia working for Evan for the last uh, 15 months since he was wrongfully detained. The U.S. continues to offer support in terms of uh, embassy services in Russia, and we very much hope uh, it's aggressively pursuing some kind of deal arrangement with Russia that would allow Evan and other U.S. citizens uh, wrongfully held in Moscow to be released. What do you know about these bogus allegations? Uh, they're, they're bogus. Uh, he was uh, on assignment for the Wall Street Journal as an accredited reporter in Russia, uh, out doing his job, which was covering Russia, covering Russia's war economy, covering Russian politics. And they grabbed him in a steakhouse in Yekaterinburg, where this hearing will be tomorrow, uh, pulled him out with his jacket over his head and threw him in prison. Uh, so it's nothing to do with what Evan was doing. It's everything to do with Russia's efforts to try and gain leverage over the United States by effectively taking hostages. How is Evan's state of mind right now, Mr. Beckett? Uh, we knew when we hired him, he was a great reporter. Uh, what we've discovered in the last 50 months is an extraordinary human being. Uh, he's been in isolation, really very isolating and disorienting circumstances uh, all this time. And he has worked very hard to stay okay. And um, he's very well supported by his family. He supports his family. So uh, we are just full of admiration and inspiration for how he's handled it. How often do you get updates from Evan? Is his family hearing from him a status check, so to speak? <laughs> Yeah, we've been able to get letters in and out. Uh, they're censored, obviously, but um, the it's been a real lifeline uh, in terms of making sure that he's okay and from the lawyers who visit him that he's okay. So we do have correspondence. Uh, he has now moved from Moscow to Yekaterinburg, which is about a thousand miles away, where this hearing will take place. And so we're still waiting to see what uh, communications will be like from his location. The threat is and always is very real for journalists abroad uh, covering and doing their job, and it is so with Evan's case. Um, how has his arrest impacted morale of your reporters overseas, particularly in this region of the world? Well, I think it just reinforces that the world is an increasingly hostile environment for independent journalists. Uh, you saw in the wake of his arrest that a huge number of American journalists or journalists from American news outlets uh, left Moscow, essentially, you know, just for their own safety. They moved to Berlin, Warsaw, and other places. So th that's just been tough for us and many other news outlets. Um, and obviously, having one of your colleagues thrown in jail for no reason uh, was tough. But we're a news organization. Our reporters run at the story, and they've continued to deliver superb coverage from overseas. Yeah, no matter the risk. Uh, I know that he is appreciative of your support and the support of the paper. How can the public also uh, align with the work that you all are doing to try and bring Evan and other Americans wrongly detained in Russia back home? Appreciate that. Um, you know, one of the things we try and do is give them some voice while they're themselves silenced. So just take it to social media with the hashtag I stand with Evan uh, would be wonderful. Uh, there's lots on there to to push, uh, just making sure that awareness of him continues. Uh, if you want to get to know more about him and just think about him or talk to a friend about him, 
uh, wsu.com backslash Evan. There's lots of uh, free resources there to see what a great journalist he is and hopefully engage people to help. Well, thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.